Now, people know how much I love rumors and speculation. It's it's really some of the best stuff online because, hey, we get to unite as fans, we get to come up with cool theories, and sometimes they even turn out to be right. So, it's a great thing, it's a great time to talk about, and as comic book fans, th there's a lot of mystery out there in what's coming because we want to see things that maybe we didn't see were coming and they kind of sometimes surprise us. Although at this day and age, we pretty much try to dissect every single image down to like every single pixel because we want to know everything because that's the nature of comic book fans because there's so much out there that we have to see these things and sometimes we might be seeing things where there isn't anything and sometimes we might see things where there isn't anything at first glance and then there is something. So. First off, let me say that uh, Namor is a character that's very interesting when it comes to the MCU. Uh, his rights are kind of in a state of flux, but they're majority back at Marvel. And earlier in the year, we even had a listing of Namor the Submariner going into production sometime. Now, obviously we know that in Hawaii, there is a giant studio that Disney has set up and they're going to be shooting in humans there. But they're not going to be taking this actual shooting location and studio away. They're looking to make a permanent residence there. So with that in mind, Namor pops up and everybody starts going, okay. So they're probably going to shoot Namor there. Maybe towards the summer, maybe end of the year. But Namor might be coming. And now with the new Thor Ragnarok trailer, observant people have taken it upon themselves to pretty much, you know, go in detail and look at some of the shots, and one shot in particular is standing out to people, which shows a person with a trident standing in the far distance. Now, fans are saying that this could be Namor. Now, honestly, I don't believe it is. Um, I, I do have a few reasons for this. Uh, essentially, like, the trident was an actual weapon that was given to gladiators. Uh, they did have it because certain gladiators would have certain, you know, characteristics and weapons based on the gods they believed in and certain gods they wanted to, uh, you know, like, please. And in the gladiatorial arena, there was at one time a belief that I'm fighting here on the behalf of this god and if I win as Poseidon, Poseidon is not going to send a giant tidal wave to destroy my ships that are representing my army. So there was that. Um, so honestly, I believe that this is probably just some sort of hint towards, oh, look, it's it's history, right? It's gladiatorial. Um, this is just a common weapon. Now, granted, I could be wrong. I could be 100% wrong. Maybe this is a hint towards Namor. Maybe Namor is here and once Thor and Hulk break out, maybe he goes back to Atlantis and he's like, oh my god, what has happened without me? That could be a thing. But for right now, uh, I'm, as much as I would love it to be Namor, you guys know how much I love Namor and Aquaman. It's probably not Namor.